the church that Jesus started. Amen. On the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem, Amen. one gospel Amen. governed that church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One gospel. Yes, sir. When God was here in the flesh, tabernacling in a body, and the body was called Son of God, means servant of God. Son of man means son of a prophet. Son of man means son of a prophet. Wait a minute, Pastor Dennis. Jesus didn't have no earthly father. Yes, he did, and no, he did not. He didn't have an earthly father in the form of a man laying with Mary. But he had an earthly father according to the flesh of the house that he came out of and his name was King David. For the Bible said of the throne of his father David there shall be no end. David was the father of the house that Jesus come from. The Bible said had not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So being that God have one church, one people, one bride, one wife you have to be born into that same church. Amen. By repenting of your sins and being baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you repent, you're sorry about your sins. Conviction hits you right in your heart. If you get up and say, I'm sorry, but you don't feel no remorse in here, your words don't mean nothing. But that's true sorry, it comes from the heart. And then I ain't got to fight with you to take you down in water. You'll be willing to surrender. In fact, you'll be asking for water, like the eunuch did. And Philip said, uh, see now, here is water. So whenever you're ready to get yourself right, you'll come walk with the gospel. The same gospel that Jesus told his apostles, that's all we have to offer you. I don't have a white message, I don't think that enough of you. I don't have a black message, I don't think that much of you either. All I have is God's message. So what you got to do, forget how white you are. Because your whiteness have no value. If you thought it did, I'm making the announcement, your whiteness ain't worth two cents. Forget how black you are. I don't care if you put all your fists up. <laughs> Hell will bring your fist back down. Yes, sir. Your blackness have no value. Yes, sir. The only thing that you have in this life that have value is your soul. Yes, sir. Amen. Lord Jesus. You go to a church because of the color of the people or the color of the preacher. You stay home and go to hell from your man cave. The thing I am offering you is Bible. That book that you claim that you respect so much. And this is the problem with churches and religions. The Bible has became nothing but a house decoration. Amen. Something that you carry under your arm so you can disguise yourself as a fake Christian. Go ahead. Go ahead. We come along and take that same Bible That's right. and tell you the truth that lion that swore. You know, every man can shave with a razor. That's right. I use a razor, you know. Amen. Sometimes that razor I use is so close, I don't realize I, I, realize I nick myself until the little blood spots start popping up. That's right. Amen. Amen. And then I may rinse with witch hazel or noxema or whatever to bring that skin back tight the way I want it. This message here is a two-edged sword. Amen. You're going to always get nicked, Amen. cut, yes, pierced. And most people is not used to this kind of in-your-face preaching. So what they say, I'm shrewd, I'm unloving, uh, I'm full of anger. I need to be psychologically analyzed. <laughs> Look at the toughness of Jesus. He didn't leave no wiggle room. Thou shall not such and such a thing. Thou shall not such and such a thing. Thou shalt not such and such a thing. I can't be no tougher than that. We don't want no thou shalt not. We want to say thou shalt not, but. Thou shalt not, but. Maybe so. 
a little or that's not what Jesus really meant. We want to bring leverage. God ain't bringing no leverage for me. So I sure ain't bringing no leverage for you. I don't preach for money. So I'm a free man. I wasn't voted by a board of directors, so I ain't got an answer to a board of directors. I was put in this by the Holy Ghost. And the only thing going to take me out of this is the Holy Ghost. My wife don't dictate my preaching. This preaching dictates my wife. My bed don't dictate my preaching. My bed turned to Antarctica. Don't affect my preaching. My gospel will throw out all the ice. Alright, listen to the old man. All right, William, let's go to work in the Bible. In the book of Philippians chapter 1. Yeah. And we'll start reading at verse 15. Follow me. I want to show you the different ways Christ is preached. That's right. All right. Philippians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 15. Because many folk brag, we preach Jesus where we at, so what? <laughs> what does that prove? Nothing. Nothing. Well, Pastor Jenner, you mean to tell me we preach Jesus where we at, and that absolutely can mean nothing? It can absolutely mean nothing. That's right. Because Jesus is preached in several ways. That's right. Yeah, me good. Follow me. Philippians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 15. Mm -hmm. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife. Some indeed preach Christ out of what? Even of Holy, out, even out of envy. Out of jealousy. That means they, they, don't, they don't mean what they're doing. That's right. They preach it out of emotion. They're jealous of something. And, and strife. They're very mad and angry and they pick certain scriptures just to get back at you that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. and some also of goodwill some they mean well but they just don't know what they're doing that's right they mean well goodwill that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. the one preach christ of contention some preach christ out of contention not sincerely they don't mean it don't mean it at all look at these categories and look at your church and evaluate how Christ is preached that's right is he preaching Christ because he's jealous of another preacher trying to compete with him hmm. is he preaching Christ out of strife because he's mad with the preacher because the preacher's prosperous and he isn't hmm. is he preaching Christ to throw off at your wife because she won't give him attention my Lord. And he's the pastor. My Lord. Oh, you listen to the old man. Go ahead. Is he preaching Christ out of strife because the individual that used to give large sums of money came to his senses and stopped now? And he's trying to convict him by pounding the name on him and misuse that name? That's right. Is Christ being preached as a form of manipulation but not appreciation? Mm. Is Christ being preached out of disrespect? That's right. How is he being preached in your church? That's right. And how are you using Christ out of your mouth? Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? Listen. Some indeed preach Christ. Some indeed preach Christ. Even of envy. Of envy. And strife. Strife. And some also of goodwill. Goodwill. The one preach Christ of one contention. One preach Christ of contention. Not sincerely. Don't mean what they're doing. Supposing to add affliction to my bonds. Supposed to add affliction to my bonds. But the other of love. The other out of love. Very compassionate. Knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What did he say? What then? Uh-oh. Give chapter and verse. Philippians chapter 1. Now we're at verse 18. What then? Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. Every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. When you pretend, you're faking. When you pretend, you're a fraud. When you pretend, you're a phony. When you pretend, you don't mean what you're doing. Whether in pretense. Look at this. Whether in pretending. Or in or truth. in truth. Or in reality. What's being done in both ways? Christ is preached. Yes, sir. That's right. So Pastor Jennings, I don't understand. As sincere the name of Jesus Christ is, 
How can someone be a phony? Mm. Turn your TV on. That's right. <laughs> What's so sincere the way Jake's preaching? What's so sincere the way Joel Osteen talk about? Yeah. Jimmy Swagger, Benny Hinn. That's right. What is, what is so sincere about these mega devils? Amen. Nothing. The only thing they're sincere about is trying to make you believe that Christ will help you, save you, be with you based upon the amount of money you give. And the way they teach it, if you don't have a lot, Christ don't do a lot. That's right. Where Christ, they never taught such foolishness. No. Christ taught that you will have the poor with you always. always. That's right. I don't have to have money to connect with God. I got to have sincerity and repentance to connect with God. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. How is Christ preached to you? That's right. And how is your belief? In Christ. In Christ. This is something that most people have never thought of. So people loosely say, I believe in Jesus. How? How? I, I never, what do you mean how? I, you just believe. How? I was like asking, how do you cook? You either cook good or bad. <laughs> when you cook biscuits, either they melt in my mouth or they're going to break my teeth. <laughs> One or the other. How is Christ preached? How is he preached? To you. Which brings about your servitude to Jesus. That's right. If Christ is being taught wrong, your method of serving him is wrong. That's right. Get your wrong under the right name. That's right. Yes, sir. You get me? That's right. Amen. Wrong and wish up. Wrong and service. Wrong in your professing salvation. Wrong in preaching. Wrong in everything under the right name. That's right. Under the right name, but wrong. Oh, that's, good. that's right. When that happened, that's the misrepresentation Amen. of the name of Jesus Christ. There are plenty of Jesus in the world. That's what Jesus taught us. Many going out saying they are Christ. Christ. The nation of Islam says that Elijah Muhammad is the Christ. That's right. Is the Jesus. That's the world been waiting on. That's right. Elijah Muhammad died in 1975. Now they said that Farrakhan is the Jesus. In fact, Farrakhan said, I am a little Jesus. My Lord. My Lord. That's right. Deal with that. Deal with that. My Lord. My Lord. Jesus. Jesus taught us And Jesus answered. Give chapter and verse. Now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 24 and we're at Follow verse 4. Me. Get me. And Jesus answered and said unto them. There's a man of Philippines that says he is the original Jesus Christ. Amen. There's a man of Puerto Rico that says he is Whoa. Jesus Christ. Amen. There was a false prophet back in the 40s and 50s. The founder of the house of all prayer for all people. He called himself Sweet Daddy Grace. Sweet. He had hair past his shoulders and his fingernails was one and two and three inches long until they curved. My Lord. They call him Sweet Daddy. That's a pimp title. God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, you know, the evangelists and pastors. None of his ministers was called Sweet Daddy. No. That's, that's pimp. That's pimpism. That's right. So if you got a pastor, you call him Sweet Daddy. He's your pimp. That's right. Amen. That's right. All right, listen. Amen. Daddy Grace said he was the reincarnation of Jesus. Then there was another false prophet in the 1920s and 1930s. The old heads remember him, Father Divine. Father Divine declared himself. Not to be the reincarnation of Jesus, but to be God Himself. My Lord. And whenever you will go into any of His churches, when you come in the lobby, there's a big picture. 
and you touch the picture before you go in the sanctuary and say, Peace, Father. Now, think of it. How ignorant and how gullible people are. This is how they get so caught up in men. To this day, the House of All Prayer for All People organization is still going on and they claim to be apostolic. You can see them all over YouTube. They got a brass band too, brother. One thing I say about the devil, they got a good sound. Man, the devil got a sound. All the bishops that become the overseer take on the title Sweet Daddy. Daddy Grace, Daddy McCullen, Daddy Bailey, all of these big pimps. And they wish up Daddy Grace. Any song that had the name Jesus Christ, they take it out. And they say, we praise Daddy. He said, all oh, this is here today because of Daddy. So if you sing mine, 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 Jesus is mine, they don't sing that. They say mine, 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 sweet daddy is mine. Mine when I'm weary, mine when I'm dreary. And I'm talking about an auditorium can be packed with two and three or four thousand people. How gullible. How ignorant. How spiritually warped are people wherein they will ignore the scriptures of Jesus giving everybody a heads up. That's right. A warning. That's right. Listen at Jesus. St. Matthew chapter 24, we're at verse 4. That's what? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. First, he tell you, take heed. Take heed. Now, you don't tell the people take heed who's already observant. That's right. right. You tell them take heed because you see that they're asleep and they're not paying attention. That's right. That's right. Take heed. Take Warning. Heed. Pay attention. Observe. That's right. The best observation is when you have scriptural observation. That's, right. That's why you put cameras around your house. So cameras can do work while you sleep. That's right. The word of God is our camera. It works. Why you are just unconscious. You're busy in some church jumping and shouting and doing the boogaloo. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but spiritually unconscious. You have no business getting so happy, so joyful until spiritually you are mentally incompetent until you don't notice even when a lie is being preached. That's true. Oh, yeah. You must be so spiritually and scripturally alert and in tune with what's coming from the pulpit because you should never come to God's house and have to separate bones from fish because there is no bones in God's word. God say meats for the belly and belly for the meats is supposed to be just meat in here. That's right. That's right. That's right. There is no separating. They ain't nobody had to pick through what the apostles preach and separate bones from fish. Never. That's right. So if you got the same gospel they had, it's a boneless meat. It's boneless. That's right. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. Oh, we'll take God. The word of God says what? And Jesus answered and said unto them. Jesus answered and said unto them. Take heed that no man deceive you. No man. No man? No man. That got your uncle, your grandfather, your father, your husband. That's right. Your brother, your friend. No man. Your son. Never mind relation. That's right. When the scripture says no man. That got everybody. That's it. Listen. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. It didn't give a number. Many. Many shall come in my name. Saying, I am Christ. Now hold it. Don't narrow that down to someone only actually saying, I am Christ. That's right. It also ties in with those that profess the name of Christ. That's right. Who hide under his name and who also declared themselves to be the actual 
Messiah. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. I am Christ. And shall deceive many. Shall deceive what? Shall deceive many. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. People catching planes, going to see some nut somewhere who say he's Jesus. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ. Look at Jesus. He saw the actions of the people so he can give you a heads up. St. Matthew chapter well, 24. Goodness, how can Jesus know this coming? Because the book says Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. Knew all things. Listen. St. Matthew chapter 24, now we're at verse 23. Yes. Then if any man shall say unto you, any lo. Any man say to you, go. Lo. Lo. Here is Christ. There's Jesus. Or there. Or there. Believe it not. That's plain. That's plain. So you that are watching. That's plain. Puerto Rico. Africa. Europe. America. That's it. Canada. Have you noticed on almost every continent, there's some mega nut. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> claiming that he's the Messiah. That's right. Well, let me say it to you, messianic hypocrites. Amen. Here's a minister from the hood of Philadelphia. That's right. Challenging all you Jesuses out there. Amen. I'm declaring none of you ever was Jesus. None of you ever will be Jesus. I'll tell you what you do. Show me your hands. That's right. Let me thrust my hands in your side. That's it. So I don't be faithless. So I can believe. believe. Then I can say like Thomas, my Lord and my God. That's right. That's right. Yes, Lord. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. My brothers and sisters of the Philippines, my brothers and sisters of Puerto Rico, my brothers and sisters of America and Canada and Africa and Europe, That's right. how can you ignore the warning of the real Jesus the Christ? Take heed that no man deceive you. Give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 24, back at verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Jesus answered. And said unto them. And said to them. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. That's right. They use the name of Jesus on the women in their congregation. Yes, they will. So you can make babies for him. That's right. Am I right? That's right. They use the name Jesus and manipulate you out of your clothes so they can pregnant you in Jesus' name. That's right. That's right. You ain't got to use the name Jesus. Just tell her you want to get laid. That's right. Don't hypocrite about it. Just tell her, you know. Just tell her. You know, you, what, 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 what day you got down there? <laughs> That's right. That's right. I think about time that you and I just hook up. Yeah. That's right. You ain't got to declare yourself Jesus the Magnificent. <laughs> That's right. If he's Jesus... While he's in the limousine, put that hypocrite on a donkey. That's right. Like right. the Bible said, he rolled. He rolled. That's right. Hallelujah. If you're Jesus, why do you have an earthly father? That's right. If you're Jesus, can you trace your line back to Judah? That's it. For the book says it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of Judah. Amen. If did Jesus, did you come from God? Mm. And are you going to God? That's right. Yes, sir. If you are Jesus the Christ today, you should not have blood. That's right. That's right. They pierced him in a side. Out came blood and water. They placed the body of flesh and bones in the grave. Three days and three nights. During that period of time, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, was preaching to the spirits that 
was in prison. That's right. That they may be judged according to men in the flesh yes, and live according to God in the spirit. Right. The spirit stepped back in the body of flesh and bones, right. which made the body glorified. Right. That's when he put on the same yeah. glory that he had before the world, the world was. Right. Picks the body up right. in the glorified state. Right. No longer have to knock on doors. Right. Now he can appear right. through the apostle. That's right. While the doors are shut. That's right. So if any of new religious leaders are supposed to be Jesus, My Lord. Yes, sir. Mm. you should be able to appear uh-huh. and disappear. That's right. At your leisure. At your leisure. Yes, are you getting the hallelujah? Hallelujah. take off. Are you getting what I'm telling you? And Jesus answered and said, So I challenge. That's right. All the Jesus of the world. Not one today That's right. is the son of the living God. That's right. Not one of you Not one of them. are the Messiah. Not one of you are the Redeemer. That's right. Not one of you is the Christ. Amen. Not one of you. You viewers, you're following a blasphemous liar. That's right. You're following a fraud. That's right. You have ignored the warning. That's it. That Jesus gave you. I don't care if it's your daddy. Your daddy is a liar. That's right. Including your pastor. Amen. Do you hear the word of God talking here? And Jesus, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. Chapter and verse again. St. Matthew chapter 24 and we're at verse 4. You know when he shed blood, there was a preacher in Titusville, Florida. And uh, years ago on Frankfurt Avenue at our old temple, he came and preached. And he preached a lie. He said when Jesus died, he shed blood, he got a bucket and collect some blood, took it up to heaven and spread it around the kingdom. My Lord. He got out, I went after him too. I said, Bishop, where's that in the Bible? He said, well, we'll get a chance to talk. We'll talk later. He hopped in his car and was gone. Uh. <laughs> because I wanted to find that bucket. That's right. Here's the old man now, think of it. Think of it. Everybody all right? Amen. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Amen. Pass them in the side, John 19, 34, quickly. St. John chapter 19, and at verse 34. I want to answer a question that somebody wrote me about. Jesus having flesh and blood in heaven. Mm. And he took blood in heaven to atone for our sins. Mm. Anyone tell you that any atonement for anybody took place in heaven? They are scripturally illiterate. Illiterate. And they are just from an educational perspective, illiterate. That's right. Atonement is an earthly act. That's right. It's not a heavenly act. In other words, it don't take place in heaven. No. Atonement takes place on earth. On the earth. In the Old Testament, when they got a lamb or a sacrifice that was spotless without a blemish to atone for the sins of the people. Jesus, who was God manifest in the flesh, that flesh was the Messiah, that flesh was the mediator, that flesh was the man Christ. Jesus took the place of all Old Testament sacrifice. So he come along, offered up that body once for all. Through the eternal spirit. Now, the atonement took place because he died on the altar. That's it. The altar was the cross itself. Because right. of be the man that hanged upon the tree, altar mean that place which is sacred or sanctified for the offering of a sacrifice. sacrifice. So the altar in this place would be the cross. The altar in this place would be the cross or the tree that he hung on. That's it. When he was pierced in the side, the Bible speaks plain. St. John chapter 19. I want you to follow the track record. That's right. 